Graphing lines, lecture number one. Uh, the first equation we're going to look at is uh, 2x uh, plus y equals 4. And this is an equation in two unknowns. And what we're going to do first is solve for y. When we do that, we'll know a lot about the line that we're going to graph. So that's my first step. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to bring the 2x to the other side. It's going to become negative 2x. And that's what we did. We saw for y, we get y equals negative 2x plus 4. Now we know an awful lot of lo about, excuse me, we know an awful lot about this line by looking at two numbers. One is the coefficient in front of the x term when it's in this form. And notice we have a negative 2. And that's the slope of the line. A negative means that the line is going downhill from left to right, okay, in a downhill direction. So we know one thing about the line, it's going, it's going in this direction, don't we? Okay. Another thing we know about the line is that uh, it, this number here tells us where it hits the y-axis. So it's going to hit or intercept the y-axis at 4, and it's going to be going downhill from left to right. This is quite a bit to know about a line. Also, we know specifically how it's going downhill. It says negative 2, so we know it's left to right, it's going this way. But it means for every one unit over to the right, it'll go down two units. So it's a fairly steep slope downhill. By the way, this is called slope-intercept form. What we're going to do next is make a t-table and graph this line. In other words, we're going to find all points for which y equals 2 times the x value plus 4. And so we're going to try it. We can pick any points we want for our x values. Those are called the independent variable, by the way. x is the independent variable. 0 is a really nice one. So I'm going to try 0. I think I'll do 1. And I think I'll graph uh, negative, uh, uh, negative 1. Uh, maybe negative 2. How about negative 2? We'll try those three points, OK? So when I put 0 into this thing, I know that y, the y value, is going to equal negative 2. OK, times 0 plus 4. And what does this equal? Well, negative 2 times 0 is 0, so it equals 4. So there we have it. And that's called our y-intercept. Remember, we talked about that. When x is 0, y is 4. Now I'm going to try 1. And so I go negative 2 times 1 plus 4. Of course, that equals negative 2 plus 4, which is positive 2. I'll make that 4 a little better. There we go. So we have a 2 there. OK. Now I'm going to try um, negative 2 in here. And let's see what I get. If I put uh, negative 2 times negative 2 plus 4, what does this equal? Well, that equals, uh, of course, a negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 4 plus 4 equals 8. So I'm going to put an 8 in here. Ah, lousy looking 8, huh? All right, I have my t-table, and now I can graph uh, my line. Now I'm going to plot my three points. And notice I have 0 and 4. So I go, I'm going to go 0 on, in the x direction and 1, 2, 3, 4 in the y direction. That will give me this point. And then I go over to the right 1 and up 2. 1, 2. There's my second point. And then I want to go negative 2 and up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. And there it is. And notice the points line up. In fact, if I were to make up a 1,000 values for x and plug it in here and make this graph much bigger, all these points would line up into a line. And this line is a picture of every possible x and y that will satisfy this equation. Now I'm going to see how well I can, I can do this with the line tool here. I'm hoping I can run it. Oh, I did pretty good that time. Ran it right through all three points. There we go, and that line represents every